Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am filming my skincare inventory. I've taken every single skincare item that I own, I have it broken up into categories, and I have filmed each category individually, so you guys can see every product I have. There is one product missing that I couldn't find, um, but it is one of the hair care products. I've already filmed this, I filmed it all yesterday, and I was so tired I couldn't even do this intro yesterday. So. I'm doing it today, but all the footage is already filmed. It is going to be a longer video. It is not quite as long as my makeup inventory. If you haven't seen my makeup inventory, I will link it on the screen. I will also put it in the description box down below. This is going to be probably around a half hour long video. I'm sure you guys will see how long it is when you click on here. But I will put timestamps down below too in case you wanna to jump to certain categories. I have done the same thing in my makeup collection. So what I am doing in this video is I'm comparing my numbers as of January 1st, 2020 to June 30th, 2020. So I'm trying to show you guys in the six month span, how many I started with, how many I added, how many I used up, and then how many I have currently. And the reason why I did put in there how many I added and how many I used up is because some of my categories have only changed by a few numbers, like say it's gone down seven, but I have added a ton to that category which means I've used up even more. So I did put those numbers in there just so you guys can reference those. I do have two categories that are going away that I didn't film and that is uh, one is sheet masks. I did start off with seven, I added one, but I've used up all eight of them. So I have no sheet masks to talk about. And the other one is shampoo and conditioners. When I originally did my inventory in 2019 I had 45 shampoos and conditioners and nobody needs that many. Granted, a lot of these were the small sample size or travel size and so I needed to get through all of those. I got them down to January, down to 21. I did add one, I got one of those uh, shampoo bars in my BoxyCharm but I've used up 13 so now I'm down to nine. I have two different shampoos and two different conditioners in my shower. I like to go between the two of them and I do have two shampoos and two conditioners as a backup. So that's where the eight comes from, and then the ninth one is that shampoo bar. I'm not gonna continue to report on shampoos. I feel like I've gotten that number completely under control, so that is a category that I am taking out of this as well. You will see that I do have one category that is an absolute mess, and by a mess, I mean it's not that organized. I have several different types of products all lumped into one. I have my face creams, oils, serums, I even have my SPF in there, all lumped into one category. I left it that way for this inventory simply because that's how I've been keeping track of those numbers for the past six months. So I didn't wanna break them all down now because then I wouldn't know how much I've used in those different categories and such. So I left them all together in one. Over this next little while before I do my next inventory for January 1st, I will try to break those down and separate out the serums from the moisturizers and all of that stuff. So you will see that it is a huge category simply because I'm just not organized. So I think that is all of the little notes I have before I get into this. So let's go ahead and just start with our first category. These are all of the exfoliants I have in my collection. I did start the year off with 13. I did use one up. I did add one, which is this one right here. And so I still have 13. As you can see, a few of these are just smaller single use. The Saturday Skin, the LMS Papaya Enzyme Peel, and this is a Chula Dual Phase Skin Reviving Treatment Pad. I just need to use those up and move them on out. I have the Mario Badescu Botanical Exfoliating Scrub. Renewed Hope in a Jar, this is their Peeling Mousse, Good Genes Lactic Acid Treatment, L'Oreal Pure Sugar Scrub. I have two of these Dermalogica Daily Microfoliants. I absolutely love this formula. I do have the Paula's Choice Exfoliate. This is their Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. This is a Skin & Coat Roma. This is their Face Gommage. Clarins, their One Step Gentle Exfoliating Cleanser and then the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Polish. The next category I have is body scrubs. I did start the year off with two. I added two, which brought me to four, and I did finish one, which leaves me with these three. This is the Trader Joe's Grapefruit Ginger Sugar Scrub, and these two are the Tree Hut 
Shea Sugar Scrub in Coconut Lime. These are the 510 gram or the 18 ounce size. This is my absolute favorite. These are all of my face cleansers. I did start the year off with 15. I added two, which brought me up to 17, and then I used up eight, so it brought me down to nine. This is the Mario Badescu Glycolic Foaming Cleanser. This is the OK Cleansing Balm Stick. This is an oil to foam. Pharmacy Clean B. This is Kylie Skin. This is their foaming face wash. This is Glam Glows. This is their daily uh, conditioning cleanser. Fresh, this is their soy face cleanser, Clarisonic Radiant Foaming Milk. This is Yes to Grapefruit, a vitamin C glow boosting unicorn transforming clay cleanser. And this is Saturday Skin. And I, I thought this was a cleanser, but I'm realizing this probably needs to move over to the exfoliant category. So I have eight face cleansers and this is another exfoliator. These are all of my makeup cleansers. I put items in here that help break down my makeup to take them off because I always double cleanse. I started the year off with 11. I did add two, which took me to 13, and I have finished nine. So I have four left. If you remember, I told you guys that these numbers as are as of June 30th, and since June 30th, I have finished this one. So this one was in my inventory on June 30th, but this is now empty. This is the I Am Dead Sea Minerals Vitamin C Serum Makeup Remover Wipes. I'm working on this Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm, as you guys can see. I'm almost done with that one. I have the Kopari Coconut Oil. This is their coconut cleansing oil. And then this is full and brand new. This is the Drunk Elephant Slay Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser. These are all of the masks I have. As you can see, some of them are mud masks, some of them are peel off masks, another one are like sleeping masks. I started the year off with 30, I added six, which took me to 36. I have used up 13, and now I am down to these 23. These three right here are Origin masks. This is Drink Up Intensive, Clear Improvements, and Out of Trouble. These two are Peter Thomas Roth, the Hungarian Thermal Water Mineral Acid Atomic Heating Mask. These two are Bosha Black Masks. These are peeling masks. And this is the Wander Beauty Lift Off Purifying and Brightening Peel Off Mask. Yes to Grapefruit Vitamin C Glow Boosting Unicorn Mud Mask. I have two of the Generation Clay. These are masks. This one's a charcoal mask, a clay mask, and this is a brightening purple clay mask. Elemis Superfood Vital Veggie Masks, two, these are mud masks from Ulta Beauty. This is Carrot and Tomato, Blueberries and Yogurt. Glam Glow, Berry Glow Probiotic Recovery Mask, Pure Heels, Propolis 80 Sleeping Mask. This is Wash Up Deep Clean Pore Glacial Clay. I have the Tatcha Violet Sea Radiance Mask, Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask, this is Glow Recipe. This is the Avocado Melt Sleeping Mask and the Avocado Melt Retinol Sleeping Mask. Pharmacy Honey Potion Renewing Antioxidant Hydration Mask. And the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Instant Oatmeal Mask. These are all of the body washes I have. I did start the hour off with 15. I added two, which brought me to 17. I used up three, so now I am down to 14. Most of them are Bath and Body Works, which I'm trying to use up because they aren't cruelty free. So these all here are Bath and Body Works. These are the Oahu Coconuts Sunset. These are the Japanese Cherry Blossom, Sweet Pea, Raspberry Sugar, Pink Cashmere, Vanilla Bean Noel, Moonlight Path, Beautiful Day. Got this in my Boxy Charm. This is Skin and Co. Roma. This is our Sardinian Spirit Shower Gel. This is from Spun Spongel, Spongely, I'm not quite sure, but this is a sponge that's infused with body wash. Again, I got this from BoxyCharm. This is the Ulta Beauty Pumpkin Spice Body Wash and a small sample of the Hemp's Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon, Honey Melon Smoothing Cream Herbal Body Wash. This right here is an entire assortment of hair care products. I do have two different categories. I probably should have more, but 
I separated out the dry shampoos. I started the year off with six. I had five of them that were about this size, and I did give those away because I don't use dry shampoo, but I do have this one from IG Care. This is their first class charcoal detox dry shampoo. Everything else I have lumped into one category, just of hair care. Started the year off with 39, I added two, which took me to 41. I used 12, and I did give two away. So now I am left with 27. One item is missing, it's a Garnier product. Not sure where it is, it will turn up. So I have this uh, Regis Design Line Flat Iron Spray. Garnier, I have their Curl Shape Defining Spray Gel, a hairspray, and a leave-in conditioner. Uh, again, from Regis, I have their Design Line Frizz Free Serum. This is IGK. I have two of the Mistress Hydrating Hair Balms, and this is the Thirsty Girl Coconut Milk Leave-In Conditioner. Redken Triple Take. This is Extreme High Hold Hairspray. I don't use hairspray, and as you can see, I have several in here. I'll find a way to use them up. This is from Paul Mitchell. This is the Twirl Around. This is to help uh, eliminate frizz for curly hair. A little sample of from Christoph Robin. This is a cleansing volumizing paste. Two little guys right here. This is the DP Hue Argan Oil Therapy. This is Chi Silk Infusion. Over here I have Living Proof. This is their TBD Multitasking Styler and this is a sample of that same thing. This is their Perfect Day Hair 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. This is a nightcap. It's an overnight perfecter and full proof Sorry, Living Proof Full Thickening Cream. This is Moroccan Oil Protect and Prevent Spray. This is from Rusk and it's called Straight. It's an anti-frizz lotion for your hair. This is Big Sexy Hair Spray and Play. This is Hot Sexy Hair from Sexy Hair again. This is a protective spray for when you're gonna heat style your hair. These are all from Not Your Mother. And this is the Tahitian Gardenia Flower Mango Butter. This is their Curl Defining Detangler. This is a Curl Defining Combing Cream. Curl Talk Frizz Control Sculpting Gel. And the Royal Honey Kalahari Desert Melon Repair and Protect Leave-In Conditioner. These are my hair masks. I did start the year off with three. I didn't add any and I did use one of them up, so now I'm left with these two. Both of these are from the brand Not Your Mother's. This is the Sicilian Blood Orange and Black Currant Smooth and Soften Butter Mask. And this is the Matcha Green Tea and Wild Apple Blossom Nutrient Rich Butter Mask. Here I have all of my nail products. I do have this, just this one. This is from Adiz. This is a cuticle oil. I did start the year off with one. I obviously haven't used up any or added any so I still have the one. As for nail polishes, I started the year off with 25. I've added 14. However, I did use up three and so I am left with 36. So this is something I'm really getting into is painting my nails. I realize my nails are really chipped in this video but that's because I'm on day three of filming inventory and pulling things out from everywhere so they've gotten really chipped up. But let me go through and tell you guys what brands I have. All of these are Lights Lacquer from Kathleen Lights. I know some of the colors look similar probably on the camera, but I, I don't have any duplicates here. So I have a dozen from Lights Lacquer. I have eight from Pacifica right here. I have four from Zoya. This one is a Sally Hansen. This is a duochrome, and these are duochromes as well. These are from Orly. Up here, I do have two from Sally Hansen. This is their Super Shine, and these are the no chip top coats. I have four from Deborah Lipman, and then I just have this one OPI nail lacquer. The three that I did finish were in a set with this. There was two other shades of pink and then a clear top coat, and those are the three that I used up. These are all of the perfumes I have. I did start the year off with 39. I added two, which took me up to 41, and I finished 10. All of the 10 that I finished were these little samples, like this, these right here. So these are the remaining 31 that I have. As you can see, almost my entire collection 
is small sample sizes. The only one I have in a full size is this Commodity Gold. This one is a beautiful perfume. I did get it in a little sample size like this, and this is the only full size perfume I have ever bought in my life. The thing I love about it as well is that it is cruelty free. It's keynotes, it has uh, molten amber and vanilla, and I'm reading this off a piece of paper because I'm not that good with perfumes. So yeah, it does have amber in there, juniper berries, bergamot, and it smells amazing. I'm going to butcher some of these names, so bear with me. These three samples, I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce it, but is from Lancome, and this is what those three samples are. This is Clean Skin. This is number seven, English Laundry. This is Viva La Juicy from Gold Couture. This one right here is Tory Burch. It says Love Relentlessly. This is Michael Kors Wanderlust. These two are Kate Spade, Walking on Air. These two are Gucci Bloom, just two different scents of that. This one is Dolce and Gabbana Garden. This is Philosophy's Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere. I love this one as well. These three are all Versace. This is their Bright Crystal. And these two are Dylan Blue. And both of these are Clinique Happy. Now let's see if I can get all these little samples. This one right here is Marc Jacobs Daisy. This is Coach, just says Coach New York. This one is Amazing Grace Magnolia. Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere, which is the same as this one right here. This one is another Coach New York. This one is We Juicy Couture. This is Tom Ford Metallic. This is DK, or Donna Karen, Cashmere Mist, Dior Joy, Versace it's Eros, and this one is Donna Karen, Cashmere Mist. These are all of the body sprays that I have. I did start the year off with six. I finished one, so I'm left with these five. The one that I did finish was a smaller one like this. So these two are from Body Ecology. This one is called Truly Yours. This one is Sweet Petals. And these three are all from Bath and Body Works. This is Japanese Cherry Blossom, Pretty as a Peach, and Cherry Blossom. These are my essential oils. I started the year off with none, and I got these in my BoxyCharm. I have never used essential oils. If you guys want to leave any tips, tricks, or comments down below letting me know how to use these, I would greatly appreciate it. These are from the brand, I'm not sure if it's Echo, Eco, ECO, I'm not quite sure, but it's Modern Essentials. This one is the Women's Blend, and this one is the Calm and De-Stress. These two did come in, together in a packet, and it is called the Goddess Duo. Here's a look at what the packaging looks like. These are the toners that I have. I started the year off with five. I did use up two, and so now I am left with these three. This is the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. This is the one that I am working on right now. I have the Mario Badescu Skincare Aloe Vera Toner. This is my favorite Mario Badescu toner. And then I got this Kopari Coconut Rose Toner. These are all of my eye creams. I started the year with 11. I added three, I used up three, so I'm still at 11. This is the one I'm currently using. This is the First Aid Beauty Retinol Eye Cream. This is the Kanuka CBD Calming Eye Balm. This one is the QMS Intensive Eye Care Day and Night Eye Cream. This is Murad Hydration Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture for Eyes. This is the Ula Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. Mario Badescu Hyaluronic Eye Cream. This is the Bare Minerals Skin Longevity Vital Power Eye Cream Gel. This is It Confidence in an Eye Cream. Skin & Co. Roma. This is their Truffle Therapy. This is the Tula Skin Care Glow & Get It Cooling & Brightening Eye Balm. And this is the Dermalogica Multivitamin Power Firm. 
this is the biggest area of my skincare that I need to figure out. I need to reorganize this because I do have all my face creams, oils, serums. I also have my sunscreen. I have them all lumped into one category and I do realize that I do need to break them out. I am keeping them together for this inventory sake simply because that's how I've been keeping track of the numbers for the past six months. So with face creams, oils, serums, sunscreens, I did start the year off with 66. I did add 15, but I used up 22. So I have brought this number down to 59. I'm gonna film this in two different segments. I am missing two products. I can't find them. They'll turn up. Not sure which ones I'm missing, but like I said, they'll turn up. So on this side, I have two products from Clinique. This is Clinique's Even Better Clinical Dark Spot Corrector and Optimizer. And this is the Clinique Moisture Surge 72 Hour Auto Replenishing Hydrator. Right here, I have Drunk Elephant. This is their A Passione Retinol Cream. This is the TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. This is the C Firma Day Serum, and this is their Umber uh, Tint Physical Daily Defense. This is their SPF of 30. These are from Dr. Brandt. They're both their hy Hydrobiotic Recovery Sleeping Masks. Not sure if I should move these over into masks or whether I should put sleeping masks in, a, in another category. If you guys want to give me suggestions down below, I'd love to hear that. This is all from Fourth Ray Beauty. This is their Rainfall 2% Hyaluronic hyaluronic acid serum, argan oil, marula oil, maracuja oil, watermelon seed oil, and the Radiate Vitamin C Serum. This is all from IT Cosmetics. This, these two are the same. This is the IT Secret Sauce. This, oops, I didn't realize that one was open. This is the IT Bye Bye Redness um, Serum. Doesn't want to close. This is it Confidence in a Cream. This is the Rosy Tone. This is the Confidence in a Cream. And this is their Confidence in a Neck Cream. And then here is First Aid Beauty. I have the Ultra Repair Cream in Pink Grapefruit, which is the same as these two. These are just huge containers of that. And this is their Ultra Repair Cream, just their Intense Hydrator or Hydration Skin Protectant. And this is their Retinol Serum. This is the rest of all of the skincare I have, face creams, oils, serums, things like that. So let me go through these. These are the, This is the Kopari Coconut Oil, Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair, Dermalogica Clear Start Skin Soothing Hydrating Lotion. This is the Strivectin Anti-Wrinkle Wrinkle Recode, Too Cool for School, All-in-One Egg Mellow Cream. These are both from Avant. This one is the Supreme Hyaluronic Acid Antioxidizing Duo Moisturizer, and this is the 8-Hour Radiance Renewal Sleeping Mask. This is the Coors Wild Rose. This is a vitamin C oil, and this does have rose petals in there. This is the Mario Badescu. This is their SPF of 15. This is Philosophy Renewed Hope in a Jar Water Cream, Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow. Levito Age Away Replenishing Cream, Paula's Choice Hyaluronic Acid, Pure Heels Centella 90 Ampule. This is Saturday Skin Waterfall. This is their Glacier Water Cream. This is the 24 karat uh, gold foil moisturizer. These two are Sunday Riley. This is her Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream. Glam Glow Super Serum 6 Acid Refining Treatment, Farsali Liquid Glass, Elemis Superfood Night Cream. These two are the Glow Recipe Watermelon Pink Juice, and this is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. This one is um, Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. This is Murad. This is their Replenishing Multi-Acid Peel. Maybe that should go in exfoliators, I'm not sure. Mario Badescu Super Collagen Mask, Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil, Kipris Anti Antioxidant Dew. These are both M Green Grass. This is a CBD Head to Toe Cream, and this is a Dry Oil Spray, and this is Laneige's Mousse Moisturizer. Now that I've gotten everything all put away, I did find the last two skincare items that were missing. This is the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. 
And this is the Glow Recipe Pineapple Sea Bright Serum. The next category I have are body lotions. I did start off with 42. I added six, which took me up to 48, and I have used 11. So I'm down to 37. I'm gonna to have to break this up into two parts because there's no way it'll all fit on one screen. So over here, I do have six from Bath & Body Works. These two are Japanese Cherry Blossom, Sweet Pea, Raspberry Sugar, Oahu Coconut Sunset, and Vanilla Bean Noel. These two are Love, Beauty, and Planet. This is the Muru Muru Butter and Rose, and this is the Coconut Water and Mimosa Flower. This is the Ulta Beauty Pumpkin Spice, Dove Eczema Relief. This is Coors Coconut Guava Body Butter, Gold Bond Eczema Relief, CeraVe Itch Relief Lotion, and their Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Aquaphor, this is um, Healing Ointment, Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion, Aveeno Eczema Therapy, and O'Keefe's, this is their Body Lotion Skin Repair. So as you can see by these lotions, I do have eczema. Several of these are not cruelty free. Of course, none of these Bath and Body Works are. These two are not cruelty free. And then uh, several of these aren't cruelty free. However, I will continue purchasing these even though they are not cruelty free because my doctor told me that I need to get those for my eczema. So since it is a doctor recommendation, that is the only non cruelty free thing that I'm gonna make an exception for. So these are the rest of the lotions I have. All of these across here are from Hemp's. This is the Mandarin Orange and Key Lime. I have a small one and a large one of the Pumpkin Spice and Vanilla Chai. I do have three of these Express Yourselves Pride and Passion Fruit Punch. This is Warm Me Up, Buttered Cranberry Apple Teeny, Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon. This is their original scent. And this is Wrapped in Red Cherry Cheesecake Chaser. And this is a small one. This is their Get Baked Frosted Sugar Cookie. I do have two of these Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Creams. These are both brand new. I guess all of these are brand new. And the rest of these are from the Body Shop. This is the Pink Grapefruit Body Yogurt. Almond Milk Body Yogurt. This one is Mango Body Yogurt. This is the Fall for, for Pumpkin. This is their uh, Vanilla Pumpkin. This is incredible. I absolutely love the smell of that. I believe it's a seasonal item, but I will definitely repurchase that. This one is the strawberry. And this one is just Shea. This is the final category that I have, which is hand creams. I started the year off with 10, I used one up, and now I have nine. These five are all the same. This is the True Blue Spa. This is a Bath & Body Works brand. This is their Shea Cashmere hand cream. This is my favorite hand cream. I'm so sad because I'm not supporting Bath & Body Works because they're not cruelty free, but I'm really sad that this is all I have to use up. This I have the Gold Bond Ultimate Healing Hand Cream. And these three are all O'Keeffe's Working Hand Cream. This comes in a tub, looks like this, or you can get it in a squeezy tube. This one obviously is brand new. This is an amazing product. I used to serve and I would also bartend. I was constantly washing my hands. My hands were always in the water. The backs of my hands would crack and bleed. They were so dry. This is the only thing that could protect my hands and it does stay on your skin even after washing your hands. So this is an amazing product. It is cruelty free. I would highly recommend this. As you saw in my lotions, they do have a yellow version. They also have a blue version of this for cracked feet. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of that footage. As you can tell, most of my categories have gone down. I am really making great progress in a lot of these different categories. The one that has gone up quite a bit is nail polish. Um, I'm enjoying painting my nails. I haven't painted my nails in years, and so I'm finally doing them myself since we're all staying at home, and so I'm really having fun picking out colors. Um, I didn't have any nail polishes at home, so I've been buying quite a few because I wanna have different colors to play with, and I'm okay with that. Um, body scrubs went up by one. What I didn't say in the video, at least I don't remember if I did or not because I filmed it yesterday, but um, 
I had two, I've gone up to three, but that Trader Joe's body scrub is completely empty. I didn't, I don't think I mentioned that simply because it was emptied after June 30th. So I am still at two, so I'm not worried about that category. Like I said, most of them are staying the same or going down, so I'm really happy about that. Um, nail polishes, I know there's some debate whether to put them in the makeup category or whether they are body care. They're not really body care, so I'm not quite sure where to put them, so I just have it in this category. The one thing that I did find really funny is that it did take me three days of filming, and I knew that my hands would be in all of that footage. You guys wouldn't see my face or anything else, so I made sure to paint my nails and make them look really nice. And as I was filming and picking up palettes and putting them away and just opening so many products, as you can see from day one through day three, you can see my nail polish get more and more and more chipped. And by the end, my hands were a mess. Anyway, that did crack me up, but I finally, I, I did redo them today because I just couldn't stand how cracked and chipped they were. So that is everything I have for you guys. I do have uh, another skincare video coming up and that is a report on all my cruelty free numbers because I am trying to use up everything in all of these categories that is not cruelty free. So keep an eye out for that. That video is coming soon. If you don't want to miss it, please subscribe to my channel. Ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. And thank you guys so much for stopping by.